For a non-clear cell kidney cancer, that represents about 25% of all kidney cancer. Uh, chromophobes are 5% of total kidney cancer. Most of them are pretty benign. So most of the time when the surgeon removes the tumor, patient cured. But there is about 5 to 10% of those 5% patients develop metastasis. Uh, when they develop metastasis, it's not as good, uh, and they become incurable at this moment. And because most of the treatment focus on clear cell type kidney cancer, we, we markedly improve the survival, but for the chromophobe, they were subjected to the same treatment as clear cell patients. So there is no specific treatment plan for any of the non-clear cell patients. And that's why we try to understand the aggressive chromophobe that will metastasize and, and just try to figure out whether there's any way we can tailor therapy specifically for those often disease. The hope is there, no doubt about it. Uh, and the major finding in, was uh, we are part of the TCGA, the Cancer Genome Atlas uh, program, and then we found that chromophobe tumor is very, very unique, uh, has multiple chromosomal loss, um, and that's the signature of the disease. And they do not carry too many mutations, uh, but 30% of them carry P53 mutation. That's a common mutation that happens in, in solid tumor. Um, and because kidney cancer is a metabolically driven disease, and had this di promophobe has lots of uh, mitochondria, so there may be something hinted there. You, you may develop some uh, treatment for that. And aggressive chromophobe tends to be still a little bit less aggressive uh, compared to the very, very aggressive uh, unclassified or peppery type 2. So by treating them with the standard care for clear cell, some of them will still benefit, but not for too long. So that's why we need to have specific treatment uh, plan for those patients. Um, the study show us this disease is very unique. Uh, and some therapy should be able to be developed in the future. It's just like the VHO that we know for clear cell for so long. Uh, and was because of that discovery, now we can treat the patient, kidney cancer patient, very effectively. Uh, and so that's why we have a chance to, to cure them in the future. The, in terms of chromophobe and non-clear cell kidney tumor, we have a trial that uh, was led by Martin Voss. Uh, that was very, very promising for the, uh, the non-clear cell, and uh, we are working on to kind of wrap it up, and I think that will totally change uh, the way we treat some part you know, of the uh, non-clear cell. Chromophore normally is a very benign disease. If the surgery removed all of them, the chance that the disease will come back is small. The, there's high chance of p53 mutation when they metastasize. I think that we have some unpublished data <laughs> suggesting that. Um, chromophobe, there are two types of chromophobe, okay? One is chromophobe metastasize, that's the one, common one that we see. And there's another one, it's called chromophobe with sarcomatoid changes, and then metastasize. And that in any kidney cancer with major sarcomatoid changes, they are very, very different monster compared to the, the conventional disease. So those patients will fare worse, and that treatment need to be you know, further investigated. The, 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 the treatment I was mentioning to you that we use Avastin and Evolimus as combination trial, that's, we should promising result, that's for, you know, conventional chromophobe with metastasis. But because we, we feel like in certain drugs, certain disease like medullary type kidney cancer, uh, um, uh, collecting type kidney cancer, you know, TFE3 kidney cancer, SDHB kidney cancer, and all those are, are very different disease and, and need to be treated differently.